boiling points are collected in the same tray and this is why they are known as fractions they are mixtures of hydrocarbons with similar boiling points each fraction has some important uses some examples of fractions are petrol useful as a fuel for cars naphtha used in the manufacture of chemicals so Abhiraj, are there only one type of uh, compound in petrol or many uh, i guess one no that's what but, we discussed uh, if right it's now. uh if it's like the the natural oil which you get from the ground then it's Will have only one no, no, no. So, for the vehicle. petrol is a fraction and not a compound. Water is a compound, but petrol is not a compound. That's what uh, they are explaining here. Like this, we will study more in detail when we are studying about hydrocarbons. But I'll give you a quick overview. So, basically, the hydrocarbons having similar boiling points. Okay, these are very similar compounds and they are grouped into one fraction. So that one fraction will not necessarily have the same formula. One glass of water has the same formula, but this one fraction will have different formulas, but similar to each other. And the boiling point is also similar. So all these uh, compounds together is called that one fraction. And the name for that fraction is petrol. So petrol is not one compound, but a mixture of hydrocarbons, like we, it is written over here. Okay? With similar, Listen much to this higher part in the right column, here. where the temperature is cooler still. As you can see, hydrocarbons with similar boiling points are collected in the same tray, and this is why they are known as fractions. They are mixtures of hydrocarbons with similar boiling points. Each fraction has some important uses. Some examples of fractions are petrol, useful as a fuel for cars, naphtha, used in the manufacture of chemicals, kerosene as aircraft fuel, diesel oil, used as fuels for vans, cars and lorries, and bitumen, a mixture of large chain hydrocarbons used to lay roads. Now, at the end of this video, you should understand that crude oil kerosene is Kerosene is also another fraction which is used for aeroplanes, okay, jet fuels. root of 27 is 3 and this is how we represent it keep in mind that this sign symbolizes cube root similarly if we say that 4 cube is equal to 64 now if 4 cube is 64 what will be the cube root of 64 what will be the cube root of 64 If the cube of 4 is 64, what will be the cube root of 64? Yes, Kizar? We are dividing 3 by 24. No, we are not dividing 3. This is just a symbol to represent. It is the cube root symbol. We are not dividing 3. Ma'am, I forgot. What if, does this be? What will be the cube root of 64? If the cube of 4 is 64, so the cube root will be 4. Yes. No. Because we are doing the inverse operation. We are doing the opposite. Like if I say 2 multiply by 3 is 6, what will be 6 divided by 2? What will it be? 3? Yes, sir. Right? Similarly, if I say that 4 cube is 64, so the Cube root of 64 will be 4. Got it? Yes, ma'am. All right. 
the formula of hydrogen fluoride first we'll read the important of how to write write the symbols or formula of the elements or ions so that the symbol of the metal or a positive ion is on the left and the symbol of the formula of the non metals or negative ions is on the right so whenever you are taking a positive element positive charged element you're going to write it on your left okay even it is uh, anything which is denoted as positive then you're going to write it on le uh, left any element if it is denoting as negative then you're going to write it on right okay so for example we have hydrogen chloride hcl what is hcl do you know right it is acid hcl is the acid you don't you know right so we are you know we are we are understanding how to write the uh, formula so write the valences of the elements or ions below the elements of element or ions so you need to write it under it now cross over the valences of the combining ions now we have to cross over because we have to denote this valency to the chlorine and this this side valency to hydrogen uh, polyatomic ions should be enclosed in brackets before writing the formula. What are polyatomic ions? How uh, after how much number we call it as polyatomic ion, polyatomic ions? After four. Yes. Okay. Adiraj, what is monoatomic? Like three. Microphone. Like two molecules. Monoatomic. Then what is diatomic? If you're calling monoatomic as two, then what is diatomic? It is it three. No, I told we I will clarify three questions later. So how can you tell diatomic is three? No. Mono means mono, one, mono, single. Monoatomic okay. is one. Di two. Diatomic is two. Okay. Clear, Adiraj? Yeah. Adiraj, what is polyatomic then? Four. More than four, you can call it as polyatomics. Okay? Okay. So, here what we have is The complete area of the circle, right? Now, from this, if we subtract the area of the two small circles, right? Area of two circles and also the area of the rectangle. Right? So, I have also subtract the area of the rectangle. Now, what is the area of the big circle? It will be pi 14 square. This one should be pi into 196. Yes, pi into 196, right? Now, from this, we have to subtract the area of the two small circles. Can I write as 2 times pi 3.5 square? Yeah, I don't get it. All right. This is the area of the one small circle. Because its radius is 3.5 centimeters. So, pi r square. Yes. This is the area of first circle. Area of second circle will also be pi r square. Yes, ma'am. Right. Now, what will be the area of rectangle? 3 centimeters. 3 centimeters, right. Now, minus 3. We are required to solve this now. 